Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog. How are y'all doing today? So today, I'm actually going on a little vacation, a little staycation. Uh, is in a, in a little like Airbnb in Dallas and I'm just gonna like relax, do my little nature walks, have some fun with my little dog, um, just relax and unwind for the next three days. I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of it, um, but I promise not to do too much work, so. So I'll show y'all the little hotel. It's really adorable. All right, everyone. So while I'm away, I'm going to show you what I do um, for my next three days. I'm gonna I, I already I'm gonna check for everything that it needs to be watered, um, and if it does need to be watered, I'm gonna leave them bottom watered or just water them so that way I know that they don't need to be uh, worked with much. I'll probably leave my grow light on, but I'll I'll leave them on like really really low, so that way it's just um, it helps it helps them out because I do have that begonia amphioxus and that begonia does need the grow light, so and it's very important right now. <laughs> so I have this I have my monstera that I've been showing y'all that uh, I've revived from our winter storm. This thing, this monstera was um, was like pretty much dead, like just ready to be dead. But I have this container here. Um, I'm gonna put all the plants here that need to be wa bottom watered. That need to be that need to be watered while I'm gone. I'll just leave them here, and they'll be fine. So, uh, I like this philodendron, you see the soil right there. Let's place them there. Um, watermelon peperomia, you definitely need to be watered. You are a thirsty little plant. Um, you're fine. You don't need any. I'm so scared, but you know what? You're going to be fine. <laughs> yeah, these are always going to be the, <laughs> these are the hardest. <laughs> That's why I had them on sale because I was like, I don't want them to... <laughs> Um, go dead, but I'm going to keep them on sale. Um, these are all the ones I have on sale, so that way you all know. Until they run out, I'm keeping them as $10. I think these are a great price. They're for my propagation, and I uh, love sharing plants with everybody, especially from my plants like that I grew and took care of and everything. So I really appreciate you all that have purchased this one from me. These are all ready watered. I don't need to water these. Um, so I'll just leave these uh, to be bottom watered. I'm gonna water the ficus. Let's put you down here. All of these are already uh, watered, so I don't have to water them. I have to water my propagations. Look at this Hoya Retus, everybody. It's, it's like, it's growing. I learned from, uh, Sean from, uh, Only Plants on YouTube how to propagate Rotusas. And then I just received a um, new shipment of plants, so y'all be seeing some updates on my catalog. I also got this one today, so I'll be, uh, letting it acclimate and then I'll sell it for on site. I have a lot of propagations, they're all good. My begonia phyoxis, that's good. I have my humidifier, that's good. I have a, a, I sold this Monstera. This Monstera is actually propagations from this Monstera. Like, so it, it's crazy, like, I split it all up because I, I didn't want them all to die um, and so I've been growing them separately and they've been really doing well. One of my friends uh, is going to buy this. He wanted something with big leaves, easy to care for and I was like, Monstera. But yeah. 
these are the Calatheas that I'm reviving, and they're all going to be fine while I'm gone. So, not bad. Nothing here that I need to water as well. This begonia will be fine because it's in terracotta. Those are okay. Water propagations. Okay. I feel I feel so much better. You know, like whenever you're going away, you just kind of like want to make sure that everything is well taken care of. So I feel good. I feel comfortable with um, with this. So. Hi everyone, welcome to my little vacation. So this is just uh, my little Airbnb. Um, Leah Marley. <laughs> We're all set up. This is our little area that we're gonna sleep in. Super adorable. There is a plant, but it's not real. <laughs> and then I have, this is like the little breakfast eating area. <laughs> and then the kitchen. And then back there will be the bathroom on the left. And then the right will be a little cl uh, closet. This is for so cool. <laughs> In case I need to read anything. <laughs> this is my favorite spot. <laughs> There's a little swing. It's so adorable. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna enjoy my vacation. Rest a little bit. I'm gonna see y'all soon uh thank you all so much for supporting me i have videos to come and um, a lot of things to, to do with my plant shop and i really hope you all enjoy what's coming up All right, I'm back from my little trip. I'm gonna go make my little rounds and show y'all all, all the plants and see, so far from what I just see, they look good. So I did well and no one's that, no one has, no one looks dead or needs like they need some help. So we'll, I'll show y'all around what, um, how my plants are. So with the zebra plant, Looks like it needed more humidity. It looks like it needed more humidity and um, it's it needed like to be watered also. There are some new growth on it, so it's not, like it's not gonna, it's not dead. It just, it was um, lacking some humidity and some watering. Here is my staghorn fern. I'm going to show y'all how to mount it later. Um, I have my little peperomia. Uh, this is like a, it's a really adorable little tiny peperomia. It's about to bust open from this pot, so it needs to be up potted, and I'll probably propagate it. I always like try to propagate when I up pot. Um, my Cebu Blue um, looks really good. I keep Spanish moss on it, so that way it retains that uh, humidity. I should have done that to the other one, but as you see, like less brown tips. or no no brown tips may, like at all like this one this means like it needs humidity so that way y'all know here's my calathea i didn't uh i didn't water it because I, wa I was trying to do an experiment so it did lose a little leaf but that's fine they're resilient pretty much here's my begonia fedora i lost a little leaf there it's fine. The soil's 
is really dry, so I'm gonna have to water this. Um, here are my Hoyas, my Hoya Retusa that I just, I just really like this plant. I like how, I like my little string plant. It's adorable. Here are my Monsteras. This is the old leaf. This is a new leaf. Here's my Jungle Boogie. Looks pretty, pretty good. Still has a little Cinderella shoe going on over here. My Monstera Adesonii. Looks good. Probably gonna propagate it and then like make more plants from this. This one I believe is the narrow form because this looks different than the other one. I'll show y'all when we get to it. Here's this big um, Raphidophora tetrasperma that I'm uh, that I'm actually like acclimating so that way I can uh, put it on a moss, moss pole and then uh, have it that way. I'm gonna start to have uh, more like plants already with moss poles for local pickup at the shop. Um, I'm working with some other uh, some other options to bring y'all as well. Here is Begonia Recovery Center, so everyone looks pretty good. There's a random Prince of Orange in here. Ooh. I'm so happy this one's growing. That's so cool. Y'all can't, I can't really see it that way, but it's fine. This one's recovering. This one. So good. I'm still growing out these pitcher plants. So this is the humidity that is currently in the room. I watered everybody, so everybody should be good. All the alocasias, um, the bambinos are doing well. This one just looks like, this is how, this one probably suffered a little like humidity problems, but um, I'll work on that. This one looks really good. Here's uh, the my, crim my, crim uh, my Crimson Queen. This one's just doing really well. The Hoya uh, Hindu Rope. I actually am doing really well with Hoyas, I found out. It's so weird, like I thought I would do really bad. Here's the uh, Satin Pathos. Some lipstick plants. The variegated Hoya, one of, this is the one that we're going to be doing for our giveaway. You might not see the video in time, but like, congratulations to whoever received this. I really appreciate you all supporting um, my channel and really like helping us grow. This is something that I really love and am passionate for, so thank you. Here is my Hoya, um, Pubicalyx Splash, I believe. It still doesn't even need to be watered. It's still wet. Like, the the soil is still pretty moist. I left a little, like, cinnamon powder before I left. So that way there's, like, less pest when I come back. Also over here, because I left these with bottom, being bottom watered. So that way they could, like, um, just in case, you know. Everything looks pretty good. Begonias, the little things that I have going on right now. Propagations, Hoya propagations that I'm going to do for the plant sale tomorrow. Um, here's one of our new plants, a Maranta. And I have this one also. There's more of like little propagations that I have that I'm going to wait on uh, to sell and stuff. Some more Calatheas. My Begonia. Um, this is the Begonia Lin from the Be Begonia Linda Dawn video. As y'all see, it's doing really well. I did. Um, so if y'all follow my steps in that video, like you could also. Revive this plant, just like other uh, cane begonias. They're very easy to care for once you kind of like get into that 
um, rhythm with it, and you'll you'll be fine. Here's um, a begonia maculata propagation that I did. Here is these from the original plant. It's doing really well. I was worried it was going to die. Here is the one I was actually really, really, really worrying about. Is my begonia amphioxus. As y'all see, it's it's alive and doing really well. I'm not going to pot it up until that leaf unfurls. Here's like a Fetonia propagation that I was I was just working on, seeing if I could just like stick them into the soil and they'll grow. Here's a begonia that I have. Some water propagations. And then this is the propagation hanger that I bought from my friend's shop. I love her little shop, it's so cute. And I also bought philodendron mikens. So I'm gonna grow this out. If y'all follow me on Instagram and also on Facebook, you would know that um, in our Facebook group, I'm working on imports. And so I'm working on bringing in philodendron mikens. Um, it's just everything's really hard to bring into um, the United States at the moment because of the situation and it's from Indonesia so um, it's going to take a minute but I have some really good imports that I've been working on bringing in and um, even though it's a scary time that I want even though it's a scary time I wanted to just go ahead and do it you know um, might as well so next, I want to show y'all um, my front yard. I have it set up to where like people can come and pick up like some plants, and then also uh, veg veggies and herbs that I have, and just also propagations that I do on a on a daily basis. Um, yeah. Okay, so these are like some hanging baskets that I have outside uh, for people to buy. I really like this one. It's a succulent English ivy basket. Isn't that cool? I think that's cool. This is stuck a whole bunch of succulents in there and this English ivy. I just designed it the way I thought it would look neat. So I have this little begonia basket. Also, my lonely tomatillo plant. I couldn't get another one to sprout, so um, tomatillos. <laughs> uh, and then I have some starts here. Which one's this one? Number five. I think that's eggplant. A little baby elephant ear. Anybody want a little baby elephant ear? It's so cute. Um, I just stuck this in here, seeing what will happen. Same with this one, and this is what happened. Here's a caladium. It needs to be out in the sun. So. If your caladium is like this, uh, and you need, and you see it growing, you can uh, place it in some sunlight like this, and it will start gr start to grow. Oh no! What happened here? Okay, y'all. I don't know my veggies. What is this? <laughs> but I grew it. <laughs> Um, there's this one too. I think this one's a pepper plant? Number four. I'll look it up. There's a broccoli plant. Supposedly they say if you let these go to flower, they will, um... It's, they'll produce these really yellow, these really big yellow blooms, and then um, the bees really like it. So I was thinking of just letting that happen. Then I have some little trees, and then these are my Kentucky beans. I need to start trailing them because they're going everywhere. Oxalis. These are all the begonia propagations that I have. 
some herbs and veggies up in here and a pepper plant and then one random monstera plant <laughs> oh and some cactus and then these are all my propagations as well that I just kind of keep on site so to sell you know so I'm going to set this all up and I'm going to show you all in a bit how I set it up Okay, so I already watered them, and as you can see, these are in pretty much like direct sunlight where they receive like four to six hours of direct sunlight a day. Um, and these are all veggies, cacti. I do have an oxalis here. Uh, there's brock, there is this broccoli here. here are my little begonia propagations that I have that I just cut and I stuck them into uh, soil. So it's pretty easy, like they just to propagate. Some of them are a little sunburn like this one. That's fine. Um, you're gonna have like a little bit of like some issues with some of them being uh, damaged. You could just pull them off um, or you can just trim off the areas where they are damaged and let them generate their growth from there. Um, But yeah, and the way you know if like your propagation was right, you just tug on it a little bit and it'll work. I go around and just, I just like spray everything down here and then I just like I'll wipe down these leaves if I need to and start cutting away like where uh, there's some damaged leaves like that. Here's another one that I, just, I have over here. And then I have some in here that are just uh, propagating as well. That's my tomatillo plant. I brought this back to life. This is the cast iron plant um, and it's the Milky Way. So the new growth has these like really spotty ones here and then this is the old growth. So you can see this was damaged by the uh, winter storm that we faced. This little elephant ear. My strawberries that I grew. That's so cool. I think this is ready to be cut and put into soil. So we'll be doing that. And then it has another runner. So that's exciting. Okay, so my kale's not doing that well. I'm not the best at um, <laughs> watering, but I kind of just kind of, I kept the, I'm growing this kale more for like the wildlife that's around here that wants to like nibble on my, on my veggies and herbs. So that way this is like their, their crop they can li nibble off on. Cause you can, as you can see, they're right here. So I don't mind, it's whatever. This is pothos. <laughs> I have, I forgot I have had this outside and it's growing. So I'm gonna put this in a cooler spot. But as you can see, I have projects that I'm working on. Uh, I'm gonna make this into like a veggie garden and other sorts of little, little, little things around here. So. I'll be busy and working and constructing and you see all this land like I got to do something with this. <laughs> all right, I'll be seeing y'all. Hi, good morning everyone. Okay, so it is 5 a.m. Um, that's when we start <laughs> getting ready for the day. Um, and how we get ready for the day is by first watching uh, funny TikToks on YouTube and I'm <laughs> I just been like, I just have it. All, I have it programmed to where it just like turns on, plays with funny TikToks, and that's what wakes me up. I think that's like the best thing to wake up to, and it's made me like laugh and smile. That's like my uh, way of like starting my day after a nice, good little coffee. 
you just, I'll start to um, water everything if needed, fertilize if needed, um, and then also start taking pictures for the for the website. Um, I was gone for three days, so I have some things that I need to do. I want to be able to like help you out with whatever you you need with your with your your um, plenty advent your first plenty adventure and help you out and whatever way you need it. As you can see, these these are all like the things that I'm working on um, currently, and then some new things that I'm going to add on to the store. Um, Here's my begonia phioxus. Um, it made it, so I'm so glad. I'm gonna pot it up. I also did a little cutting of a, a mikan. It's right here. I do have my philodendron mikans over here. I'm thinking about doing is like ordering more more plants and stuff like that, getting cuttings, and then actually be able to like pot them up to this size, um, and then um, you get like let's say three of these and pretend these are all different and you'll get three different cuttings and they're already potted um, and you'll see them grow and then that way you really you have like a head like a, a little start on your um, on your little uh, plant that you would want times we can't afford like a $60 plant and we really just want that plant that we want to start off with so doing a cutting is a great way to just start that so that's my way of thinking about it, and that way um, everybody has a good way of starting on it. Especially if you really want to start and you want to learn, um, it's a great way. There's more begonias, as you see right here. These are some that are um, that I'm working on to like uh, do for trades and stuff. This begonia is really special to me. So that's from this begonia, as you see right here, and um, it's really special to me because this is from one of my friends that gave it to me make more begonias for other people as well hi everyone so to finish our vlog off um i have some tasks that i need to do that um i accidentally forgot to do today because i was asleep i took a nap <laughs> with my little dog and i was trying to set it for like five minutes but i ate a pizza and i got really sleepy afterwards but um i have everything ready um pretty much i just needed to uh finish packing up our my little propagations that i set uh for on my instagram um trying to add more little propagations i think um i have some ideas for it so i'll get to it um and show y'all but i'm gonna be packaging in a little box like this um i just basically am going to tape down the tape it down right here so that way it, it uh, doesn't spill any of the soil from it. All right. So I reused my containers and I wash them and then I uh, used I use the soil from our store so that way it's it's nice and healthy. So I'll be doing that to the other Hoya propagations that I sold, like this one. And so whenever you uh, get a uh, Hoya cutting, you want to make sure that it also has like a little um, extra stem growing from it. So that way um, this will produce more uh, more leaves and it's not just two leaves. You see there, there's like those little um, roots coming out of it. So that way, um, you know, it's going to grow into, and also you can see right here, those two, two leaves forming out of it. That's what you want to check whenever you um, have a, um, you're going to buy uh, Hoya propagations. 
Okay, so I'm gonna do all these and then I'll be right back. Okay, so so far I have it like this. And so you'll open it like this and you'll have the little, little Hoya in there. So I've kind of just uh, tucked everything in here and then also um, everything's really stable so nothing will get damaged hoping Ta-da! And then I add um, one of my little thank you cards. Currently, I have them. Uh, currently, I'm printing them out, but um, but I'll, I'm I'm getting them to where uh, I'm getting like an actual thank you cards to everybody. Um, as a small business, I try to be as resourceful as I can with everything I have um, until you know I'm able to get more things because I want to be able to make it look really nice and. Uh, show y'all like um you know how much we really care about y'all and thank you all for supporting our business so i'll just uh add one of these little guys in there and then ship it off this one's going to washington so thank you in washington for uh purchasing from us and supporting our business you know it's really awesome i've been uh getting a lot of uh different orders from all over the, the states and so i it's really awesome i'm getting a lot from Mi missouri um uh louisiana um it was florida florida a lot of florida uh michigan uh so shout out to you all uh tennessee also um there's just a it's crazy like i it's it's so cool oh in california so california tennessee louisiana uh florida washington missouri <laughs> so many um and so many more um i can't really list off the top of my head oh and that and of course local thank you very much for my local supporters um, so this is, is, this is cool. It started off as like a little passion and then it turned into a really cool little business and I think it's awesome. I just really think this is so cool. Thank you. So, so next I'm propagating my little micans that I have here. So I'll start to like work on these and then add these onto the store. If you follow my journey on like Instagram, and also throughout my videos, I talk about how um, I'm working on importing plants from Indonesia and there's some really special ones and soon enough. So I'm really, really appreciative of that. Um, I took a chance and I'm really, really thankful that I did. Um, as you see here, this is a mixture that it came, it has in here is uh, like a cocoa husk mis mixture with perlite. I'm gonna show you all this new growth on it before I start chopping it up. I, I think this is really cool. Um, I really like Mikeins and I've, I've been trying to uh, get some. So I have my sterilized scissors here and so Mikeins you want to cut at the node as you see this one has like aerial roots already coming out so I'll, I'll, I'll cut from underneath here and then I'll work my way down over here.
I'm leaving this growth right here um, alone. <clears throat> you don't want to cut off too much. Uh, you do want to be able to like let it grow a little bit more. So that's going to be left alone. This one looks a little too young to be propagated. Over here I can. Here's this one. Now I'm just going to let it be like this and let it grow out. Then these I'm going to put into sphagnum moss and then also and then propagate them that way until their roots are pretty uh, visible and then I'll start to put it into a more uh, an aerated uh, soil. So I have like one, two, three, and then this little guy. Four. I think that's cool. I'm working on uh, propagating begonias. So I have two now from this one, from the big mother plant. So here is the prop box that I'm working on. It has like a whole bunch of string of hearts in there. We're gonna make some space for these. They could fit like over here somewhere. Tuck them in there. So now y'all can see, um, I have the micans to the left, uh, the, the string of hearts in the middle, and then I think this is like some random philodendron neon that I have here, so. All right, that concludes my vlog. Thank you all so much for joining me. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, and I had lots of fun on my three day vacation. I had, I, I still did a little work, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> I I enjoy it and um, I enjoy talking to y'all. I hope y'all like the little room that I, I, I showed y'all where I stayed in and all the little uh, the nature walk and the fun little plant shopping that I did. I'll show y'all more of the of that location uh, in in time coming. Um, I might be doing a lot more videos. My schedule is still um, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays uploading, but. Sometimes I'll just like upload a random uh, video here and there. So if you, it, it'd be awesome if you could turn on your notifications and let me know. So that way you know whenever I upload a, a video. You all take care out there. You all are amazing. Bye everyone.